Okay, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set your offset for your probe, or if you have a BL touch, to your nozzle. Uh, you can do it really precisely without calipers, actually even more precisely in my opinion, because you're not having to eyeball it. So what we're gonna do is we're first gonna come down to the menu here and we're gonna auto home. So go to motion, go auto home. Okay, let it home. Now, once it comes back, uh, it's gonna be uh, roughly in the center of your bed, right? So uh, come down here, go to main, and you'll see that it says uh, 221X, 191. What I wanna do is I get these both at 200. So let's go motion, let's go axis, let's go X. Okay, get that to 200. Okay, now as I'm doing that, you know, it's moving the head up here. So right at 200 for X, and I'll do it again for Y. So move Y, and let's get it to 200. Okay. Now the reason I want it at 200, 200 is just for ease of math, okay? So now that I got it at 200, 200, I'm gonna take a piece of paper with a little dot that I've drawn on it, and I'll have some uh, blue painter's tape standing by, and I'm gonna put this piece of paper right under the nozzle, wherever that nozzle is, okay? So um, I'm going to go to the screen here, go motion, go move axis, go Z, and just make sure that my nozzle is right off the bed here. So I'm gonna come down a little. You can see my nozzle, let me zoom in a little for you. You can see my nozzle is coming down, okay? And I wanna get that thing right under the nozzle. So I get the dot right under there. Now it's hard for me to see on camera here, but let's say that's it. I think I think I might have it. Okay. Uh, I don't know, somewhere in somewhere in there. Let's just say that's it. Now once you've found it, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and take your blue tape painters tape and tape this down. Okay? Tape this down. So let me do it with two hands here. Okay. All right, so I've taped the piece of paper down, so we'll move. Now I come to the axis here. I'm gonna move uh, back up in Z, okay? And uh, then, uh, let's see here. I'm going to move axis, uh, X, all right? I'll move by one millimeter at a time. Now, my job is to get this probe over that dot. So I'm gonna move it, and you see as I move it, the dot is now showing, and you can see it right there. There's a little, zoom, yep, little dot. So I'm gonna move, 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 until that probe is right over it. Okay, okay, so that looks pretty good. That looks like I nailed it. Now what you're gonna do is once you get the X right over it, you're gonna switch to Y and do the same thing. Now, with this exact mount I'm using, my Y is already in a good spot. I just know that from this mount. So, I'm not gonna move it. But then what you do is you go back to the screen here, and you go to main, go to info screen, and you look at the new coordinates. Now, since I didn't have to move it in Y, my offset on Y is nothing, it's zero. But uh, on X, see how I moved 67? Well that's what I'm going to put. I'm going to put 67 in my uh, offsets. Now, I'm positive 67 because my uh, probe is on the right. Most probes are on the left, so you'll be negative values. If it's left and forward, negative. If it's right and back, positive. 